hello guys welcome to my youtube channel again so today we're going to be looking at hypocycloid and remember a hypocycloid is uh, the locus of a point traced on a circle as it rolls on the what the inner surface let's assume there is a circle here all right when it rolls one revolution down here okay the path traced on the point of the circle is called what a hypocycloid so let us start now with the radius again of the bigger circle given, this time around we are using 110, okay? So the bigger circle or the bigger arc, 110, you stretch 110 on your pair of compass. So this is 110 or simply uh, 11 centimeters on your pair of compass. So you place your needle somewhere there, assuming there is nothing drawn here, alright? So you needle somewhere there and you draw an arc. So after drawing the arc, then you with the radius of the smaller circle, alright, which is 25, this time around... Uh, we're using 25 again so this is the radius of the smaller circle then you draw you place here needle here all right at this point of intersection and draw an arc all right so this arc becomes the center of the circle now needle at that center here all right and draw the smaller circle so there you have it now what do you do next you divide this circle into what 12 equal parts and you know exactly how to do that all right you place here again remember this is already the diameter of the circle this is already the diameter of the circle all right so you drop a perpendicular here okay you extend And then we have the circle divided into four equal parts. All right, so what do you do next? You divide into 12 equal parts. So then we have our 12 divisions, all right? So what do you do next? You place, take one of the divisions, 0, 1 or 0, 2. They are all equal. So just take one of these divisions of the circle, all right? Place here now on 6. Now you can decide to also... Uh, Number here is 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? Whichever one you choose. Alright, so you place here and you cut, you step off 12 equal divisions on, on the arc here. Up to 12. Okay, so there we have it. Alright, 12 equal divisions. Now, so sorry, I changed your rate, the, the numbering. Alright, so I started 0 to 8. Understand it. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It all depends on uh, how you understand it, okay? But for the purpose of this video, we use here as 0. Since the circle starts rolling from here, so we take it as 0, all right? Up to 12. Now, what do you do next? You connect this point, all right? 0 here to 1. Connect to 2. Okay, like this. Connect 2, connect 3, up to 12. Okay, now, so there you have it. Now, once again, you place your pair of compass on point O here and stretch to CO the center, draw the center arc first. Please always remember to do that first. Okay, so you stretch to this center here, CO, and draw an arc. So on this arc, that's where you have your C1. C2, C3, C4, C5, okay, up to C12, all right? So there we have our center. That's where we cut our axe from, this center line here. So what do you do next? You needle on sec on the center here, zero, and stretch to, you can decide to start with six, all right? So this is six, all right? And draw an arc. Now you go to 7. 7 and 5 will connect. 7 and 5 will connect. 8 and 4 will connect. Alright? And so on. Now also connect 9 and 3. Remember our center line is different from line and 3 again. Once again. Alright? And so on. So there you have it. 
Now take the radius of the circle again, which is 25, or just stretch 0 to center, CO2, O, which is 25. So this radius is 25. All right, so your hypocycloid will start from this point 0 here, all right, and will end at 12 here. Okay, so with this as 25, the radius, you already have O. For C, O, you already have O here. So you go to C1. Please watch the movement. And remember, focus on the center line here and the point of intersection between the center, the center arc rather and what? This straight line. So this for C, O. Then for C1, all right, do not cut from the side. You cut from the side. So where is uh, uh, line 1? So this is 1. Arc 1, rather. So this is arc 1. 1 and 11 are on the same word, arc. All right, this is arc 1. This will be arc 2. All right, so just... So you cut arc 1 from this side, not from this side. All right? From this side. So the point of intersection there. Arc 1. Then you go to C2. This is C2. And you cut arc 2. So this is 2 and 10, they're on the same arc. You cut arc 2. You have that point there. You go to C3. Alright. So there you have it, C3. Then you needle on C3, then cut arc 3. Remember, not the center arc. This is the center arc. You have no business with the center arc. You cut 3. You have that point of intersection. You go to C4. You cut lines 4. This is it here. Arc 4, rather. Alright, and so on and so forth. Okay, now there you have it. Alright, so now remember, uh, one cutting, we get to 6-6. Six, six. C6. Six. Of course, you have it there already. Then, now C7. Now this is line 7. Alright. Arc 7. You cut, alright. 8. You cut line eight, all right. Now, do not make the mistake because, for example, some students will start cutting from this side, they'll cut seven from this side and cut eight from this side. You understand? They start moving, so the curve will start looking awkward. Do you understand? No, so you continue like that for eight and for nine, you cut, and for ten, you cut, and for eleven, you cut, and twelve. All right, so what do you do next? You join the arc using a flexible curve or a French curve. So there you have your hypocycloid. Now ensure once again that it's a clean curve. Okay, so hypocycloid for you.